you who are younger, be subject to the elders and then to everyone. Clothe yourselves, all of you, with humility toward one another. Clothe yourselves with humility. Put it on. You see the imagery he's using? You have to put clothes on. They don't just get on you somehow. You have to put them on. And so it is with humility. Humility doesn't just somehow come. You have to humble yourself. You have to humble, humble yourself. I have to humble myself. Clothe yourselves, all of you, with humility toward one another. For, Proverbs 3.34 is what he's quoting. Why? Why must we all humble ourselves? For God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. God opposes the prideful. Those who think of themselves as they ought not think. Those who think they've got it going on. Those who think they're smarter than other people. Those who think they don't really need to be shepherded. Those who think all those things... God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. We live in a time to where self-esteem, which is really just another way to say pride, is not only championed, but it, it's seen as a virtue. Self-esteem, that you need to have self-esteem. You need to have self-confidence. That's what the scripture calls pride. Being confident in yourself. No. It's praised in theory, but even in our world, as it's praised as a, a virtue, when it comes out of someone, it's condemned as a vice. That's why people look to, a lot of people look to our president right now and think he's very prideful. He won't admit when he makes a mistake. Things like that. People point that out. And they don't like it. A lot of people think he's just prideful and they don't like it. But the same people are those who say, you need to have a lot of self-confidence and self-esteem and like just go your own way and be confident in what you do. It's like you praise it in theory, but then when someone actually does that, you condemn it and you go, God, no one wants to be around a prideful person. The scripture condemns pride, thinking of yourself highly in any way as a vice, as sin, as being in opposition to God. We have to humble ourselves. Why did Satan fall? Pride. Why did Adam and Eve fall? Pride. I know God has said this, but I think I'll be like God if I eat this. I know he said this will not be good for me and it will bring death, but it looks tasty. It's pride. Humility is knowing your place. Knowing that you are creation, under authority, you're not all-knowing, you're not all-wise, you're just a human who needs a lot of help, who needs a lot of grace from God, needs a lot of help from those around them. Pride is when you think, I'm doing pretty good. I just talked to a buddy this morning who brought up the fact that most people think they're smarter than 50% of people which is a way to say most people think they're smarter than the average person. Most all people think that, which reveals pride. It's like, well, I'm smarter than the average person. Well, everybody thinks that. It's like, we live saturated in pride, and it's praised, and we have to expose that 